This way. Come on. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks, only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. You can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure, wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boy. Gentlemen, through and through. Yeah. Come on. Hey, moving. Get up. Go on now, Holly. Get up. Well, move it up. You want your likeness taken? Go then. Yep. 
Let's make you all famous. A genius. No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. Hmm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Now for Don't mind me. I may be at this for some time. Okay. Howdy. Damn fine weather, ain't it? Sure is good. I'm here to help. Thank you. Morning, friend. Yeah. Uh.
money for you, but maybe I can give you something of interest? My fella to told me the doctor in Valentine's crooked as a dog's hind. Why are you toying with me like this? Help! Help! Ah! Yep. It's the only move. Like I told you, Jose is wrong. Okay. I'll meet you and the others back at Legras.
<laughs> oh, I got you. I got you. Easy does it. Oh, easy. Ah, I love catfish. This could work. Well, you're on, my friend. Come here, you. You don't need to take that. You starting something with me? I'm ordering you to stop. I'll give you licking you don't cooperate. <laughs> Freeze. Right now. You crazy or something? I got enough of you.
Hello, mister. Hello? Okay, boy. Let's go. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <sighs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. The only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys gotta prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, I... <clears throat> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. <clears throat> You pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. You see those two? Stay out of sight. Get these bastards! 
Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. from where I'm sitting. You're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men. All your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me? I run a city. 
And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed <laughs> of. Our friends of Pinkerton's are gonna come and rescue you, you <laughs> repulsive little maggot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Call them now. You call them! Jesus! Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch! The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. So, Bronte's dealt with. I heard. I still think it was the wrong move. Maybe. Dutch went pretty crazy on him. Good morning. Mr. Williamson. Hello, Hosea. All right, I suppose. Glad to hear it. Morning, Arthur. You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, oh, Driscoll's, Pinkertons. Is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I think that's enough for me. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Hopefully, this will help a bit. This should be some real good eating. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Thank you, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. Hey, run into a couple of Indians in San Denis. A chief called Rainsfall and his son. Yeah, I know the name. 
I'm real need of help right now. Morning to you. Just went pretty overboard with Bronte back there. No pun intended. I know, but I ain't losing any sleep over that one. Right, but still. You all right? Yeah, that was quite a mess to clean up. Yeah, in every sense. You stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch. Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. You are starting to unnerve me, friend. I don't, I don't think you want me any more unnerved than I already am. anything, Jose? Oh, kind, yeah, son. No, I'm fine. Well, I, I heard you coughing a lot last night. Yes. You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. I'm, I'm fine. Well, what you been doing? That, Acting like a fool. <laughs> How so? Yeah, I hope so? Killing and robbing folks I didn't need to. Did a good My, thing. you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I didn't. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Okay there? How have you been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, Reverend? Yes. Well, maybe. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. <laughs> so do I. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've, I've given up on all that. Mm. <laughs> Me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. Kindly fellow. Took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really. But he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. 
He's hanging about outside the marketplace, collecting alms for the poor. Sounds through right there, Dutch. Good morning, Arthur. It'll be okay, Molly. Okay? How is any of this okay? Karen and Sean are dead. Dutch is hardly speaking to me. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, get up. What's going on? You were snoring, that's all. Quit with the ruckus. I'm tired.
Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And... That's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Arthur. Charles, how you doing? Mm, fine. Listen, I'll be taking off for a few days. Sure. What you up to? Eagle flies. Chief son? Yeah, I remember. He needs my help. Okay. Is there anything I can help with? No. I feel this is something that means more to me than you. Well, you've saved my hat often enough, brother. Mm. Some boys you know have been taken. I mean, sent to reform school or someplace far away. I said I'd see if there was some way I could help free him. Okay. This should be easy enough. I'll sneak in at night and send him home. Just a one-man job. Good luck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 